All right, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while, but I needed one thing in order to make it happen. Snow. This is that heavy heart attack snow. So this is the best conditions to test shovels. Four and a half different kinds of snow shovels. And today we're going to evaluate them and I'll show you all the specifics. Some are good in some conditions and some are better in other conditions. We're going to go through all the different surfaces, concrete, blacktop, and wood decking, things like that. Even an ice option. This is the half. So whew, I just went into the deck with that. So let's get started and have some fun with snow. Use this to break up ice that's formed on black top and concrete, but you got to be careful because you could make marks on there and you don't want to do that but this is great for breaking up ice. This metal strip is great for concrete because concrete is like this real brace of material. It's like scraping on rock, probably 20, 30 grit. So you're gonna protect your plastic shovel with this metal strip. But these are horrible, on the other hand, using them on wood because you're just gonna scrape up the wood. That's where you use a plastic shovel. You can see that these are identical in size, pretty much one, doesn't have the strip and the other does. The other thing is, this has a kind of funky angle to it and this is a straight shovel. We're gonna do some tests where we're gonna see what the actual weight is and whether this shovel works better than this. By the way, this is an honest review. I paid for all these shovels myself and I'm not being compensated in any way to do this test. And this is the mother load shovel, a Canadian shovel. Great for lightweight snow conditions. Uh, maybe one and a half times what you can do with this shovel. The only problem is is It carries probably twice as much weight It will sit right up in here and we'll do testing on both this position and this position to see how heavy this shovel is under these really wet snow conditions This is also a new shovel for me. It's basically a grain shovel and I want to use this because I like it It's a little shorter it's wood as opposed to steel pipe or aluminum. So we'll see if that makes any difference. This is a great shovel for cleaning off decks and smooth surfaces. Or so I think. We'll test this out and see how good it is. So let me show you what this thing can really do well. This is a worse condition here. I've actually stomped on the snow. You can break it up like this if you want. Wooden deck. There you go. Quick and easy. Here's a concrete sidewalk. Absolutely wicked. But this shovel with the metal strip has no problem whatsoever. kind of like this shovel because you don't have to lift it too far to throw the snow. This <laughs> So now we're going to alternate between these two shovels, the wooden one and this orange one. You can see that the wooden one, they're about the same size actually, surprisingly enough, but this has a little better angle on it, kind of like this guy right here. And I'm always surprised how many of these shovels I see around the neighborhood. So this is why I wanted to really test one of these out and see if I was missing something by using the shovel like this. So we've got some stairs here and I've actually stepped on them, which makes it worse. So let's do this bottom stair. Yeah, it does great work. Not bad at all. So that's pretty good. You can also see that the width is a little different. This is a little shorter width than this guy, but on stairs like this, it's perfect. So let's try the orange shovel now. Let's see how we do. Okay, <laughs> because of its length, the shovel has a tendency to wobble a little bit. 
doing this. Let's go this way. Yeah, I kind of prefer on stairs, at least, and on decking, I think I'm leaning towards this shovel over this shovel. The angle really does help out. And I've got a tree right here that's filled with snow. Let's go up here. Yeah, I like this a lot. So I've got a weight gauge here. We're going to hook it up to the lift point or the pivot point on the shovel and see how much weight you're actually lifting. So that will be like the lift point if you were holding on to it. We're going to see how much weight it takes. It's about 37 pounds right there of snow at that pivot point. That's a lot to throw. Let's put it here. Do the same thing. See if it's any different. 38 pounds right there. So 37, 38 pounds. That's a lot of snow to throw. And that's why under heavy snow conditions, you probably want to avoid a shovel like this. It's probably too much for most people. And you have to put an equal force pushing down get to get the pivot point to throw it away. So the next one we're going to test is this guy right here and see how we do. We're going to hook up the gauge. That's 25, 26 pounds right there. It's a lot more manageable. That extra 10 pounds really makes a difference. Right at this curve is the best place to grab onto. So this is a lot more manageable under these loads. And the metal strips are pretty good on blacktop. Wood, not so much. So now we're testing the orange shovel. That's about 14 pounds. Very manageable. We'll try to take a different slide, different place, and see if it's a different weight. 14.3. Okay, up here. Okay, so there's about 14 pounds worth of snow on there. And that's an ideal point right here. Very manageable. Not bad at all. Fill up this guy. The black shovel. That's about 17 pounds worth of snow. Full load. Pretty manageable. Not bad at all. So now I'm just going to alternate shovels and see what is the best one for these kind of conditions. Always feels like you're shortening your job by pushing the snow with this. But you pay in the end when you have to lift a heavy load. This is really comfortable. The bend really helps out and you're just pushing enough snow. Lightest load, most manageable so far. Not bad at all. I think I might like this the best. It's got the thinnest width. I like it on stairs and decks. It's not as good on big driveways where you've got a lot of snow to take care of. The angle's not as comfortable now that I've got different angles to play with on the other shovels. It's about the same weight as this guy here. I'd really be surprised if the wood ever breaks and the shaft goes all the way down into here. There's a lot of plastic there to contain it. See how much plastic there is in the interface between the handle and here? Short. I've had it for five years and it's served me well, but I don't know how many more years it's going to actually go. 
Just something to think about. It's starting to ice up a little bit. I let this go. I've stomped all over it. For the good of science, I'm going to use this plastic shovel that doesn't have a metal strip on it. Something to think about. The ice is sitting there and it's smoothing out the concrete a little bit. So it's not as much scraping action as I remember, but if you do enough of it, you're just going to wear that poor guy down. Yeah, I can feel it as I'm scraping more and more of the ice off. Layers and layers of plastic being removed with every scoop. Oh yeah. If you're in really good health, you work out, you might be able to take on this heavy 30 to 40 pound load of snow. But then again, you could probably hurt yourself. If you like dangerous, this might be the shovel for you. The sun is setting, the job is done. Of these four, what is my favorite? Well, let's go down the list. If you like working out and you max out weights at the gym, this is your shovel. You better be in good shape though, because it can be dangerous. This is a pretty good shovel. Works both on blacktop concrete if you don't mind wearing it down eventually. But the thing that I don't like about it now that I've given it some thought is it's really limited on structure here. It's got one screw holding it in place and just a little bit of plastic here between the plow or the blade and the shaft. And the angle is a little too stiff. Even though I've used this for five years and it works, not my favorite shovel anymore. This guy has the same issue, although there's a lot more beefy structure. You can see the ribs that are in the plastic, so they really thought this one out. The ankle is a little easier to hold and lift the snow, so I like that piece. And I really think it's gonna last a long time. The metal strip helps on concrete and blacktop. If you got wood or deck and that's what you want your shovel for, probably wanna stay away from this guy. So it's basically up to you. Depending on your circumstances, this could be your shovel. Or this could be your shovel. And if you're a big burly person, man or woman, and you like a workout, kind of like Arnold, <laughs> this could be your shovel. So what do you think? Please post your thoughts on the comments below. I'd like to see what you think the best shovel would be for you and out of all these four. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in evaluation of home gear, sports gear, electronics, making and breaking stuff, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're gonna see.